Howdy, Jaybird here. Today I'll be unboxing Lost Ruins of Ornok. Check Games Edition. It's a game for one to four players, ages 12 and up, that plays in about 30 minutes per player. Alright, let's see what's in the box. Right off the bat, we see extra Ziplocs. Love one. Games actually provide those for you. Deck of cards. Already pre sorted some different bits. Got some wooden ones that looks like with different player colors. Tall meeples. Possibly scoring markers. Square and almost egg shaped. These look like gems and like arrowheads. These look like little tablets with hieroglyphics on it. Even more Ziploc. Yay. We got a little catalog from CGE. All their other games. Looks like a school pad. That's a lot of bags. Look like player reference cards. Pretty decent looking rule book. Take a look at this rule book. Nice and big, so looks like the print's really easy to read. Some of it is in the script style, so depending on how well your vision is, it could be a little bit harder to read. It does look like there's a tutorial video that you can scan and watch lists all the components pretty clearly stating what they are large two-page layout for the setup for the board v numbered showing in detail where that is on the board it's easy to set up then how to set up your player boards and cards looks like as a quick overview the goal of the game before it actually goes into how, how to play. Looks like you got main actions, stuff in your hand. And then it goes over the different actions in detail. Looks like it continues on with clear, concise pictures. With a lot of detail in each step to fully explain what they mean and what you're doing. What happens between rounds? Final scoring and credits, and then it jumps to. So the the main board actually has two different sides, like I showed before. Um, it's almost like two different stories. You you begin on one side, and then you can choose for for further games to play the back side, which changes up some of the symbols and their placement on the board, and kind of. I think I read about how it essentially uses one of the lost characters from the first side when you played the first time to find them and possibly use them. Goes over solar variant. Nice little appendix of the different types of cards. Friendly, like an FAQ type section. Don't forget an FAQ. Uh, some shorthand notations explaining some of your icons and free actions. Uh, some of the extra tiles. Then it looks like it continues with the quick reference of effects, keywords, and actions. And even a quick reference of starting resources. Looks like some stickers to put on some of the player pieces those with those. Looks like we got a board. I'll unfold that in a second. And then some punch boards. So let's see what's on those punch boards. So it looks like it. Oh, they're pretty loose. 
already. That one pretty much fell out. Good thing about them being loose, it means that the print doesn't typically catch as much and tear as fast, at least in my experience. Types of tiles. This and that crisp, clear snap as it punches out. That's when you know it's good quality. Not super thick, but it's at least thick enough that you're not worried about it falling apart or bending on you. Probably get to punch in the rest of that later, but show you some of the different shapes. Ooh. That one's going to fall apart on its own. I do love this artwork though. A lot of different. Looks like some lizards, some bird type creatures. Let's look at that game board. It's a quad fold. Looks like it's double sided. I'll have to look up if there's a difference on the sides if it's based on player count. Or if it's just the night day difference. Let's look at these cards. See if there's a quick open on that. On the plus side, it's relatively easy to catch the top of that. I don't have to pull out my knife to open it at least. Looks like all of these cards have the same back. We got some sea turtles, ostrich, donkeys, horse. A lot of different stuff. Probably too many different ones to really go over in this video. Uh, it does look like, because, yep, starting player decks, and that right there. Ooh, look at that fear card. That deep blue hue really sets it apart from the, the vibrant colors on the, of the rest of these island cards. Hieroglyphic style tiles. So I'm going to finish up punching this all out, dividing it up, and see how it fits in all the bags and goes back in the box. So now that I've punched everything from inside the box and fit into the ziplocs and back in the box, I'll show you what it looks like. Of course, the rolls. Now, these bags are really loose in here, so this is one of those games I would probably highly recommend getting like a Plano storage box or even finding a custom insert that works well for this game because, at least personally, I don't like it when the, this many pieces are this loose in a box. Yeah, so all the player pieces together. I went ahead and put the score pad, first player token type stuff together, certain tiles together. These are all solo tiles. All these tiles are square and rectangle shaped, going to 
the general same area of the board, so I put them together. There are a lot of those larger tiles that go near the top of the board. I went ahead and just put all those tokens together because the shapes are clearly different enough to easily divide a lot of the smaller chits. I went ahead and put all the rounds together even though they get divided up every game. But they're right next to each other on the board, so not as huge a deal. All the cards together, and then of course board and everything down below. Now, as you can see, I did add two of my own Ziplocs to this. So, all the cards are in a Ziploc size bag. And then, these tiles are a quart size bag. Just, I was trying to fit them in the smaller bags, which was too tight. And I didn't want them loose in the box themselves. So that was a lot of Lost Ruins of Arnak uh, by CGD, one to four players, 12, ages 12 plus, about 30 minutes per player in the game. Thank you for watching, and as always, play games, spread joy.